welcome to this video this is your boy Leke Cosby Finance and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can scalp the boom and crash market the volatility in this is market or the forex market or any form of market using the MACD and the 200 EMA now basically in this strategy you're gonna be seeing a quick way of how you can actually jump start without stress and to be profitable but one thing I need to make you understand in this strategy is this now first of all I want you to understand and have the knowledge that this strategy must be traded with caution yeah it must be traded with caution in the sense that you won't be able to combine so many um, um, markets at the same time you'll be able to monitor so many markets at the same time so it's very necessary that you be careful when trading the strategy and also it's best that maybe you pick like one or two markets that you're monitoring at the same time because we're gonna be using the one minute time frame we're gonna be using the one minute time frame because it's a scalping strategy just for quick profits and you're in and you're out so if you're new to this channel please subscribe and share this video with your friends and also if you like to join the telegram community where we give free signals on a daily basis in the volatility indices markets you will see the link below just check the description below a lot of persons have contacted me and asked me that they want to join telegram group that they don't know where the link is all you need to do is just check the link below check the description below and you will see a link to the telegram channel and you also see a link to the facebook channel join the two of them and also subscribe to this youtube channel if you're new to this platform so without wasting more time let me jump right in and show you how this works so the first indicator i'll be adding to my chart is the macd just drop the default settings you don't need to change anything just click ok all right then don't forget i'm using my 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 my, my pc for this it's the same thing on setting it up on your smartphone so you don't need to get confused <clears throat> with the way i'm actually setting this up it's the same thing on your smartphone to bring to get to indicators you see this f sign you said this you see this f symbol just click on it and you see all the indicators right before your, your face so the next indicator i'm going to be adding is the moving average and i'm going to set this to 200 then change this to exponential then click ok all right so you can see my chart is all set up my chart is all set up all right so now let me just add one more indicator so that um so that you can actually get a feel of what we are talking about or oh, don't worry you understand why i'm adding this indicator right now which is the stochastic let me just add that let me make that uh, let's make this 20 let's make this four let's make this 10 sorry sorry let me make this four and this 10 rather sorry Sorry about that don't forget your k period is 20 your slowing is 10 your d period is 4 okay good we're good to go so now how does this strategy works simple as abc the first thing you need to do is to know your trend once you've known your trend then next thing is to look for your entries yeah make life easy for you straightforward now without wasting much time looking at this you can see your chart you can see that in this particular market here you can see that the trend starts coming down you can see from here it, it crossed the 200 EMA the market crossed price crossed the 200 EMA then you can see a downward movement you can see right there that's a downward movement that is number one number two the next thing you want to see is you want to see your your MACD you want to check that your MACD has crossed below the zero line now the two criteria for you to judge your entries now the first criteria is this 
Now, the moment you, you confirm your strategy, you want to see either of these two things happen. Now, since we're in a downtrend, you want to see the MACD cross the zero line, then cross back up. And when it crosses back up, you want to make sure that the level at which it, the level at which it crosses back up does not meet the previous level at which it was upwards. Now this is what I'm saying. You can see that the market crossed upwards here, then crossed downwards. And you can see it crossed back upwards again. Now you notice that the market when it crossed upwards here, you can see that it was it still remained below the 200 EMA, and you realize that this this level at which you cross upwards it does it is lower than the level of the previous up, upward cross which is here that's say that this level here is higher than this level here so this tells you that the downtrend <coughs> is too strong so what do you do for your entry next thing you just wait for the this are your red line which is your signal line wait for it to, to cross your zero and you place your entry so your entry is going to be here and you make your profit here that is it so now quickly how what is the second strategy the second strategy <coughs> or option is you can see the MACD crossed here cross downwards in this scenario now it crossed downwards and you can see it also crossed the 200 EMA here now you notice that after it crossed it crossed back upwards crossed downwards then crossed back upwards you can see then after it crossed back upwards then you can see that it did not cross the zero line it remained under the zero line and this is still under the 200 EME then it now crossed back again you can see this was where it happened you can see that it didn't cross to the upper side at all and it still and still cross back downwards here so you're gonna make your entry right here you're gonna make your entry right here get the histogram crossed the 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 MACD right here so you make your money right you make your entry right here then you take your profit take your profit to this level all right now considering where you take your profit is the reason why i brought out this indicator which is a stochastic you can see the settings now whenever you place your entry like you can see here was where we place our entry after placing our entry here you notice that you notice that the, the stochastic became oversold and overbought right here so what you need to do is right here just take this to this level you can see you can be sold right over sold right here so this way you take your profit and easy easy does it so that is how the strategy basically works it's as simple as ABC so you can do this on a one minute time frame you can look for possible um, 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 you can look for possible patterns do not forget what you're looking for is simple and straightforward number one no, no, your trend, no trend of the market. Number two, make make sure that your MACD crosses to to crosses either above or below the zero line of MACD. You know, in accordance to um, your trend. All right. So once it crosses, then you wait for the MACD to retest, then cross back again. <coughs> In the direction that you're looking at like i can see this you can see the same thing happened here downwards you got downtrend this was the cross here this was the cross here the cross downwards then pushed up again that's that this level that you pushed up is lower than this level here then what you had what next then you can see the market came down here below the zero line and this way you place your entry and you write the waves the trend so it's that simple it's that simple guys it's just that simple it's just that simple you can see this was a small trade right here it was a very small trade 
feels very small to it right here okay you can see something like you can see something like this this went up okay now now this is what i'm saying in this kind of scenario i won't have taken this because i see this level pushed up but it's higher than this level so that tells me that something is fishy this tells me that there's a reduction there's a reduction in the momentum of the downward trend so when it crosses downwards here i won't take it i won't take it now look at this you can see this one pushed up also and it says higher than this so i wouldn't take that i wouldn't take that okay now look at this scenario now this pushed up then this came down then this pushed up again you can see this level is higher is lower because this level is lower than this level and we are under the 200 EME. so i would have taken this straight i would have taken this straight right here yes and um you could have just made your profit to just this level or if you, you you like to hold for a while you could have made to this level so that's how you can actually maximize this um strategy and be profitable so if you like this strategy you could just give it a thumbs up and you could also share this strategy with your friends and also you can also hit me up if you have any questions and do not forget to um join the telegram group which is our um signal group where you're gonna get signals for free without stress and you make the market so if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and do not forget to click the bell button so you get notifications when about upload new videos like this on a weekly basis i remain your boy lakey cosby finance and I'll see you in the next video.